Welcome to Motorhead Misfits. Today we're going to talk about a car that never got the recognition it deserved in 1957. And that would be the 57 Pontiac Chieftain. In my opinion, the 57 Pontiac was far more elegant than the 57 Bel Air ever was. That's just my opinion. Don't come for me in the comments. Though both vehicles had similar characteristics, the interior on the 57 Pontiac was just far more elegant. Look at this. Just a beautiful design. Nice dash. Nice instrument panel. Overall, sweet looking car inside. 57 Bel Air was a little lacking on the inside. It looked a little plain Jane to me. The 57 Pontiac with its 347 5.7 liter cubic inch V8 engine produced 290 horsepower. That was quite a step over the Bel Air's 283. The Bel Air's 283 with a fuel injected option with 10.5 and 1 compression with solid lifters only produced 283 horsepower. Now, if you took the same 347 in the Pontiac, when they introduced their fuel injection system, which is the same fuel injection system, actually produced 310 horse. That's a lot of improvement over the Bel Air's 283. I believe the Bel Air gained popularity because it's only $2,200 brand new, and buying a 57 Pontiac Chieftain would have set you back $2,700 at the time. Being that both vehicles were built on a B-body platform, they were very similar, but had a lot of subtle changes. Definitely made Pontiac stand out a little bit more than the Bel Air, in my opinion. From its unique speedo to its bigger displacement, higher horsepower engine over the Bel Air, can't understand why this car was overlooked as a collector car. I mean, look at the tail end of this car, rocket design. You have to admit, the 57 Pontiac was a beautiful car. I believe Pontiac might have overindulged with the chrome, because there was a lot of chrome on the 57 Pontiac. But boy, it sure does look nice. After looking and seeing this car in person, thinking this thing was overlooked as bad as it was, not being sought after as much as a 57 Chevrolet. Kind of makes you wonder why. Not sure myself. I think I would have went with the Pontiac option back then. One, bigger horsepower rating would have sold me. And look at the lines. The lines of this car are just amazing. It's really too bad many of these cars weren't saved. They were used as a disposable car. That's a shame. If you liked today's video, consider subscribing, giving us a like, and we'll see you down the road.